Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we will see about split plotting, completely randomized design and randomized block design using experimental design or EXPDS package in our software. So as usual, you have to import your data. I already imported uh, my or our data in order to save our time. And here is the two factor is var and this stands for variety and length of sewing with two levels. And in the case of uh, variety, we have uh, two levels. The first one is Howie, and the second one is Dagen. And while in the depth of sewing, again, we'll have, uh, we have uh, two um, levels. The first one is June, and the second one is August. And columns are represented by replication, and the last two columns are represented by a response variable GY and planted, respectively. Then uh, you have to uh, convert to replication. And the two factors into factor using as a, a dot factor function uh, like this so type this and submit to our studio then you have to attach our data name since our data name is sap so you have to attach this one then uh, you have to indicate here is uh, you have to use the function split to dot CRD. So you are telling to R you are going to complete split pot in completely randomized design. Then the first thing that come here is the main plot. So our main plot factor will be a date of sewing and followed by the subplot factor will be its variety and a replication. And lastly, the response variable. Then you have to tell to R whether your treatments are qualitative or not. So since our um, treatments are in terms of letter, so they are what a qualitative. So we will say true, true. And if it's either the uh, one is uh, quantitative, so you have to say true, false, or false, true. Then the multiple comparison test that I'm going to use for this sec uh, for this tutorial is the least significance difference, and you can change into Takei, you can change into uh, S and Nikkei, and whatever you want. Then again, you have to tell to R if you want to change the uh, or if you want to write in the full acronymy. So you have to say here is a factor dot names. It's F A C dot names, and you have to specify. So date of sewing for the first one and second one is a variety. But this step is not mandatory. It is optional. So you can, if you want to stay as it is, DS and VAR, you can cancel uh, this uh, code and go for the rest. And here is uh, the significance value for the multiple comparison is 0 0.05, the default one. And again, also here is F uh, table for ANOVA of the level of significance is 0 0.05, still it is the default one. So type this and submit to our studio, then you will get this uh, result. So let's see our uh, result. So here is the legend, the factor one is, is obvious. The one that comes first is the main plot factor and followed by the subplot factor. So the, our main plot factor is date of sewing and our subplot factor is variety. Then we are expecting two errors and two CV. Unfortunately, all value, as means the main plot uh, as well as the subplot, as well as the interaction of main plot and subplot factor are not statistically significant since their p value is greater than 0 0.05. And again, we'll have here uh, one error and one error. Totally, we will have two error, and we are expecting to have what two coefficient of variation. Since coefficient of variation is calculated from the square root of error mean square to the grand mean, so we'll have since we have two error errors, so we will have or we are expecting to have what two coefficient of variation, and the CV is, uh, is very very good. Then uh, uh, we also consider uh, the residual can be considered as normal because the uh, uh, assumption for the normality using the Shapiro Wilkes test, the p value is 0 0.2, which is greater than 0 0.05. So, when assumption are greater than 0 0.05, we are uh, considered for that particular assumption is not validated. So, under such circumstances, the normality or residual can be considered as what as uh, normal. And um, no significant interaction in the main effect, no significant uh, result in the subplot, as well as the main plot and subplot interaction. As you can see here in the uh, date of sewing, August and June, there is no statistical significance difference. 
uh, so we are not expecting letter a, a and again here in the varieties tagging and how is there is no statistically significant difference in their uh, mean grain yield perform so coming to the split plot in a randomized complete block design all things are similar except uh, this one so you have to change crd into randomized block uh, design then let's uh, clear this one and all things are stand the same like this one so type this and send it to our studio then uh, let's see the ANOVA yeah, here is data of sowing is statistically significant, but the rest at the subplot as well as the interaction of main plot and subplot are not statistically significant. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, date of uh, sowing is August is better than of the June, and while in the uh, while in the variety there is no statistically significant. Again, here is a significant interaction analyzing the interaction. That means date of sowing interaction with the variety dagen which is what it is statistically significant but date of sowing with the varieties how we is not statistically significant is a p value is 0 0.99 again when we come to date of sowing inside varieties of dagen inside the variety of dagen because the dagen is here is statistically significant so when we come to data of sowing inside the variety of Dagon, yes, August is better than that of June. But again, when we come to data of sowing inside the variety of Howe, there is no statistical significance difference. But both yield what the same result. Even the p-value is 0 0.99, which is not statistically significant. And again, Variety inside the date of sowing in August, the dagen is better because here is the p value is what 0 0.04. While varieties interaction with date of or variety inside date of sowing in June is 0 0.76, which is not statistically significant. Then, when we see variety inside of date of sowing in June both Dagen and how we yield the same result. So by this way you can interpret the result for a split plot in randomized block design. So this is all about today's tutorial regarding to split plot design in CRD and RBD using XPDS package. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.